As we stand today, role-playing games would be impossible without some level of abstraction. But how much is acceptable, and how does it affect play? Abstraction in role-playing games serves a few different purposes. First, it allows us to avoid getting bogged down in the details. To try to simulate reality entirely would be extremely daunting and probably not very much fun in an actual game. Additionally, we are allowed through abstraction to focus on the parts of the game that are important and fun for the gameplay itself. There are many different examples of abstraction that you are probably familiar with, such as hit points, which represent our ability to take damage, but in no way reflect the human body's actual capacity to survive harm. Experience is another good example of how we abstractually deal with the concept of improvement for ourselves, but for many people, the concept of something like leveling up is too abstract and they don't enjoy it in game because human progress never reaches a plateau and then a sudden rise the way that it's represented in stats. And of course, stats themselves are an abstraction, as are character classes, virtually all mechanics, and quite frankly, a lot of details in fiction are made abstract because we don't really require that level of detail to be immersed and to be experiencing a scene at the table. So why do we make certain things abstract in games and other ones not? Well, the obvious answer in some cases is because we have to. We cannot bring certain aspects of our real lives into full detail in a game. But also, we are allowed through abstraction to put certain elements into play and abstract them in a way to make them useful. And I'll give an example. In the most common character creation systems, classes provide both roles and limitations. Point buy is often complicated and prone to optimization, but it allows a player to make the exact character that they want in many cases. And life paths can create a history, but are also limiting. These are all different ways to present the same concept, that of a character, but what areas that the game designer is focused on allows the game to be channeled in that direction. Could a game have too much or too little abstraction? Well, certainly. For example, damage. You could have locational damage, its effect on an ability, the recovery time, or a game could say that you are dead or not dead. What we are deciding on here is a choice between the simple rule that does not encompass the details of the event in play versus a process of locating and implementing the rules provided being cumbersome we really have to decide as players what is important to us. This is the balance we face. How many rules are there and what is their effect on play? The only hard and fast rule that most people could probably agree on regarding abstraction is that the rules should be consistent. For example, if you're playing My Life with Master, there's only two real ways that the character can take action, that of villainy or violence. To strike his violence, to seal his villainy. But what is setting a trap or kidnapping? It requires definition in the moment and should be consistent from that point forward. But what if you're playing a game with heavy detail? Do you track all of those details? Every penny or experience point? This might need to be defined and redefined throughout the game. We also have the details of the fiction to consider. For example, if you put a house into play without defining it in very much detail, then what happens whenever you've imagined a two-story house, the players imagine a bungalow, and the player then describes their character jumping from atop a car and climbing onto the roof? While often not implicitly mentioned, abstraction seems commonly tied to immersion. What details a group wants to abstract to a greater or lesser degree, or leave out entirely, can say a lot about playstyles. Links for blackboards and minute games are on screen and below. Video replies and comments are very welcome. And if you're interested in playing a game that I've talked about, I would like to try to open this up on Google+. There is a link for the notes as well. Thanks for watching, and I hope that every game that you have is better than the last.